Hey, welcome back Musical Architects. One of the most effective tools we have in music creation and writing and music production is to take a pause. We are so locked into our grid F four bar segments or eight bar loops that we sometimes forget we have this option to slow down things, to speed up things, or to extend a phrase by a couple beats. And sometimes it's just creating that surprise that was missing um, without, of course, throwing the listener completely off the track. Let me show you a couple examples how we could use that. Hey, welcome back to Musical Architects. I'm sure you've been there. Someone is talking to you incessantly and doesn't know how to stop. And so after a while you stop paying attention and you don't even know anymore what they were saying. So one of the most effective pieces we have in language, as in music, since that's a language too, is to take a pause. But how do you do that? In classical music, it's very normal that we don't stay in the same tempo all the time. We have rubatos, we get slower, faster, we accelerate, we are doing retards, we're stopping at the end of a phrase. And that creates a more official halt. It's very organic in that sense. But since we have beat-based music, we've been kind of locked into this groove and this grid of bars and beats and the same tempo. Does it have to be like that? Not necessarily. Sometimes it's really cool to just add an extra beat or bar to see what happens. I did this in this song and sometimes it works and sometimes it's good on paper but it doesn't sound organic. But check it out, I think it actually really works nicely in this one. Number one, in the verse, into the pre-chorus, I added an extra two beat because I felt I could just use a little breather. And it sounds a bit like this. Time takes my line. Messing up my memory suddenly. I think it flows well. And if I'm not sure, I can always try it out. I can make a cycle and I can command click this or click the equal sign and then skip over it and see in comparison what it sounds like. Nothing wrong with that, but I just like the kind of surprise of Plus your brain attaches to the backing vocals and now it totally notices them and then you can follow that line underneath the lead singer. One more place I did that is before the chorus. I felt it was just a bit rushed and it's almost like someone halting for a moment before opening a door. I felt like the singer could take an extra second to think about and then come in with the chorus. So this sounds like this. You tell me if you like it. How would it sound without it? I'll make a little cycle here and command click it. It would work. Nothing wrong with it, but. Or with the extra thought, with the extra beat. So I didn't want to stop it or slow it down. In global tracks, G, you could make a tempo change, but sometimes that messes things up a little bit on the timeline. I simply added another 5-4. So all you have to do is say, if I want to add another 5-4 here, I set my playhead to that position, change this to a different time signature, and here I could switch it back to whatever time signature, and it inserts that. Be aware that then things move on the timeline a bit, or they might be not as aligned as before. So you got to look at all your arrangement parts. But it's very easy to insert a different time here. So this is the 5-4. So going into the chorus number two, I don't do that extra beat. First of all, I just simply go... But that's exactly... Why doing it exactly the same the second time? Then that's not a surprise anymore. So you can play with a listener a little bit. If it's too much of a change, it might throw them off. But if it's a little bit, it might just create a nice surprise. Final example, 
I didn't want to change the time signature, but we wanted to create a little breather or a little suspension, if you will. In the middle of the chorus, we have this one or two beat dropout in the instruments. So it just creates a little bit of a suspension in a different way. It's just two beats of the music kind of not playing. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One beat, actually, to be precise. And that's another interesting way, putting in uh, little breaks in the music without leaving the time signature behind. So three different ways of creating. Extending phrases at the end of a section, having a pause or an extended beat or couple beats before the section here in the pre-chorus, um, one beat here before the chorus, and then also um, suspending music in between. All these are kind of normal musical tools in classical music sometimes, but we are not so used to it in pop or rock music or dance music, the modern styles, because we are so tight to the grid. We have these four eight bar sections, but try, see if it works here and there, if you add another pause and give it some breather. Hope this helps you. Stay creative. Have a good day. If you want to go deeper, check out the links beneath and check out my courses and the free PDF, my song evaluation blueprint as well. Have a great day and stay creative. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.